Today we are in Louisiana at the Ponies on the Delta Pony Play event. Welcome to Pony Play. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Yeah! Today we're out here having a Pony Play competition where people compete in events and classes just the same as real horses do. These events are very competitive. Just like a regular horse show event, we end up with some crashes and wrecks. Oh. People go down over the jump. The competition gets pretty crazy sometimes. Oh. I'm gonna beat you so hard. This is the blindfold obstacle course. Ponies are gonna be blindfolded. <laughs> They're going to be hitched to a cart. Their uh, handler is going to have to guide them through the course. If they cause any faults, they'll lose points. And we're about to see them get their first go at it. When I'm doing pony play, I'm, I'm pretty free and wild. I kick the cart. Wet. Fight with the handler, you know, and uh, really just try to give them a really hard time. So they really have to. Uh, try to keep us a, to obey, but it usually doesn't work in their, their favor. Step up. What? I really just, I fall into that space and I'm a pony when I do that. So I'm free, I run around, I gallop, I jump, I snort, I want it, and I nuzzle, and I get the head scratches. It's a pony. <laughs> All of our outfits that we make are based off of bio horse equipment or made out of bio horse equipment that's been rearranged to fit humans and can get very costly. People are very proud of their outfits they put together. <laughs> uh, everything on me is custom made. Um, my ears are made from old boots and then I add some fox fur for it to make it a little bit fuzzy, uh, kind of get that Shetland look. Uh, the muzzle is custom made from a friend named Daisy Doll. You know, I got my, my bit and everything here. Uh, custom made the bridge, which is a uh, French braid. But uh, the suit I did custom make, you know, added the, the markings and everything to give me more of that, that Shetland breed look. And underneath, this, this particular harness that I'm wearing now, uh, it's not really meant for pulling carts or anything. Its only purpose is to hold my tail because my tail is five pounds by itself, which is quite a bit of weight. So, you know, that's... What's about? I love them. You're my favorite choice. The tack, as the, uh, the pony equipment is called, uh, is a very essential part for most ponies. But it's also very important to adopting that role and being able to change from the human aspect to the pony aspect in a headspace kind of way, like really right. get into character. Right. <laughs> so looking the part is a big part of playing, playing the, the part. part, yes. And when it comes to pony tack, it's a lot about individual expression. Yeah, everybody's a little different. Everybody's a little different. Yeah, sometimes you start out with uh, ears and a tail, and then you end here. here. Yes, <laughs> it's a, I don't want to say it's a one-way road, but it's definitely a hole once you get in it. It's a slippery road. It's a slippery road. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make our way across it, and then we're going to do our thing. We have to be very normal and vanilla, upright, tax-paying citizens Monday through Friday. So to get to go out and pretend to be something else for the weekend is like so much fun. Go! And it's about expressing your, your inner personality too, because so many of other people I'm sure I can speak for live um, a life Monday through Friday that's not really a, an expression of who they are, what they yeah. do. It's what pays and, their bills. And when you get a chance to come out here and you get to enjoy what you do and be around other people who enjoy similar things yeah. and enjoy it with them, it's a, it's a great feeling. The freedom to be weird. Yes. Yes. Please subscribe, subscribe to, to the Wizard, Wizard of Odd TV. TV. <laughs>